What is up folks, Ian Smith here, and in this video, I'm gonna be doing a quick recap of my trading day today. It is Wednesday, July 22nd, and I just wrapped up my day, made a decent little profit today. Today's profit was $729, which was pretty awesome. Um, it was a little bit of a hold overnight, so it wasn't like I only made that today. It was like I bought a position yesterday, near the end of the close of yesterday, held it overnight, <clears throat> and then close that position today. So let me go ahead now and jump into what I'm thinking about the market, what happened today, and, and how everything played out. All right, so um, here if you can see my screen, this is the one minute chart of the SPY, which is the S&P 500. Uh, this is just showing today. This right here is a five minute chart of the same SPY. As you can see, it's showing multiple days. So this little area right here is today. This was yesterday, and then that was the day before. This chart down here, is the SPXL ETF that I mostly trade. Now this is a really cool uh, ETF because it basically mimics exactly what the SPY does, but it does it at a 3X leveraged uh, multiple. I don't know how they do that. I'm really curious actually how they do this leveraged ETF stuff. But anyway, as you can see, it's up 0.7% on the day where the SPY is up 0.24. So it's literally three times the return and it's a lower cost, meaning that I can buy more shares. You know, if I wanted to buy a thousand shares, it would be $49,000 versus the SPY would be 1,325,000. So you can you can make some good money and make some good moves with less money uh, with the SPXL. I do recommend it. It's a pretty legit um, ETF. I've been trading it for a while now. Anyway, um, it all started with yesterday. And if we just go ahead and zoom in on yesterday's trading action. So we got that little tank into the close and we kind of came down to that level, that initial breakout level of when we really broke out from the all time virus highs. Okay, these are the highs that, you know, we did that island top reversal like weeks ago. Uh, that was this level right here, this three, actually I think it was here, 323.41 pushes up and then we have this little area right here, 324. So it's actually been kind of tricky plotting out support and resistance lines um, while we're up here in no man's land because we really haven't put many tops and bottoms in yet. So kind of shooting blind here, just kind of um, seeing what the chart reacts to. But anyway, um, I bought... I think a couple hundred shares, maybe 300, 500 or something into the close last night. Was hoping for a bigger gap up because we did have a pretty uh, sizable pullback. I was hoping that we would get an actual decent gap up this morning. That did not happen. Actually, we slightly gapped down, but immediately when the market opened, it pushed up and that was pretty awesome to see. So um, as it's pushing up, I'm just kind of watching it. I don't believe I bought any any additional adding to my position. Um, so it pushes up, pushes through this resistance, and then um, puts it an intraday high right there. Um, I don't believe I even sold any. I was, I'm trying to practice patience, okay? And patience means holding my positions longer. So many times I sell too early, um, and I really miss out. Like like literally, I'm I'm seeing the 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 stock go up and up and up and then when I think that okay it's not going to go up I bail and I sell my position and then it ramps up and that's kind of what happened over in this area today so uh, still need some work but I'm really really trying to practice my rule number one which is be patient be patient on the ideal entry and wait for the stock to come down and then buy it on the dip and then be patient once inside the trade and let it work for me so Working, working on it. Um, anyway, stock comes all the way back down to this open, does a slight green red. So as you can see, I mean, it opened red because it was a gap down, pushes up, went green, came back down, did a slight green red move that held as support. Uh, you know, I guess it attempted to do a gap fill. That open held as support and I got long even more, added to my position, risking off of you know, this level right here. It worked out well. I think I got like 1,500 shares, 1,000 shares or something with SPXL. Um, held it as it pushed through this resistance and then sold up here. Did not expect it to just continue ramping. Really missed out. Left a lot of money out there. Could have had, 
a thousand day profit today. But anyway, whatever. I'm happy with my profit today. <clears throat> um, you know, right now it is it's pulling back. I'm debating if I should buy it at this level once it reaches this level or just leave it alone because honestly this China news is kind of freaking me out. If you don't know, China and, and the US have their little beef going on where, um, I don't know, something about Houston and shutting down a Houston branch, I really don't know. I, I've literally seen it all over CNBC and I've even read it online and I still don't fully understand what the heck a con consulate or something. I don't know politics and government and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, China and US are beefing and I'm nervous to go long in a substantial way with that kind of news out there. But look at that market is picking up, found some support right there and is pushing back up to the highs. So anyway, um, that's pretty much my day. I am focused on just buying the dips. I used to be a short seller and a buyer, long trader, you know, and um, really just trying to stop short selling, especially in this very bullish market that we're in. So um, trying to just completely leave short selling to the other guys and I'm just focused on dip buying. Um, and again, just being patient and waiting for that beautiful dip, like this beautiful dip right here, this beautiful dip right here. Um, gotta wait for it to reach those levels because if I would have bought on this one, um, I may have, I don't know, I don't know if I would have sold at this resistance point and then lost all, had a good green trade turn into red. I don't know, but um, just daily, daily uh, challenges, you know, patience. That's my number one issue is patience. So that's my trading day. Hopefully you got value. Click the thumbs up button. Leave a comment below with your challenges, your trading challenges. Um, let me know what your rules are and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.